That fucking little kid who did like the alt-right adjacent commentary and now is like doing the young wannabe Andrew Tate. Straight up. Did the same thing. I tried to debate him and he, he, didn't, he yeah. didn't answer. He tried to debate me? What? That's just a straight up lie, bro. I have... I don't know you like that, little bro. I've never fucking... They're trying to preempt denying you the debate? Yeah, what is happening right now? Sorry you're dealing with these jerks? No, it's fine. He roasted me, called me an incel like 50 times on, on a stream. That's what they pretty much do. Yeah. I mean, he is. He is a little incel. It's just so funny because, like, I feel as though... Oh, the... the Name, we've had this name filtered forever. Oh, that's probably why. It's, uh, it's sad because like, I think when he was younger, he had the, he had the opportunity to not go in the direction that he did. Right. Um, but then he just like turned into, he just turned into this like fucking young Andrew Tate wannabe weirdo. But yeah, no, I, I'm down. It's just like, I'm not going to fucking fly to Miami or some shit. You know what I mean? Not agreeing to their terms means you're pussing out. Yeah. I don't know why. Gotta love cloud chasing. I say while adding a streamer for a response. Yeah. Um, one of the things I never will understand is why people fucking do this thing where it's like, oh, dude. If you don't want to debate me on a Wednesday afternoon at 7.30 p.m. in this predetermined uh, destination, then you're just afraid of debating me. It's like, no. They want you on their turf. They think you have some advantage and that you'll be nervous. I mean, no, I, I just don't want to fucking be around these dudes. You know what I mean? I'm not going to take multiple days off to just like go and fucking debate the fresh and fit boys. First of all, they're not clouded enough for me to do that. Let's be real. There was a time and place when they were like popping off way harder when I wouldn't, I still wouldn't like go to them to debate them, but I would have considered debating them or at least like changing shit up um, to actually end up debating them here. This is what I was going to show you. Challenge offer. Tell y'all daddy Lasan to respond. Also tell him to stop meeting people's mics during debates. I guess the fresh and fit. Lasan. <laughs> They're going to spin this into an excuse? No, I mean, I'll debate him. <laughs> Hassan? Bro, it's free content and they will 100% get their backs blown out. You know what I mean? And I'm still trying to debate Andrew Tate. Andrew Tate is their, their god. You know what I mean? He is... Uh, he is certainly much, much larger in prominence in all these platforms, regardless of whether he has his own, um, he has his own personal, uh, properties or not. So I don't know what makes these people think I'd be afraid to, to debate them when I already fucking ripped, uh, Andrew one. They're saying I muted his mic. Yeah. I don't know I'm how. Ethan H3, all you ass clowns over there, me and Andrew Tate. I spoke with the big G. We are challenging you ass clowns to a debate. In person. In fucking person. So funny. And then people say, like, would you do that for Joe Rogan? Of course I would go to Joe Rogan's show, bro. What do you mean? It's like they're not on a they're not on the same fucking playing field. Okay? Because Tate was telling me that y'all like to mute the mics. Long term community members stop being annoying challenge. Okay, take a week off difficulty achieved. I will personally and manually time you out for a week if you do that right now while I'm looking at something else. One caught astray. Multiple of you will... I will literally... Actually, you know what? A couple of you need to... I need to kill a couple off just so, you know, you get the, you get the message. I hate that so much. Comrade Lamb. Hurts me to do this, but take a week off. You have more YouTube subs than Fresh and Fit. Yeah, but they were... Okay, so YouTube subs are... YouTube subs are one thing. There was a time, however... Um, there was a time, however, when, like, 
They were popping off. Tate thinks you muted him on his call. He doesn't know how certain voices take priority over other ones in the call. Yeah, I don't know how I would be able to mute him when I'm not the owner of the call. Okay. So, if you guys aren't cowards, like I've already proven through the DMs and everything else, you'll debate us. You're welcome to come here to Miami. Hell, we'll even cover y'all fucking flights. Oh. Whatever. First of all, these brokies are not going to be able to cover the flights. Okay. So, so business nice. expense. So generous. Get some points on Amex. You're so nice, Myron. All right. You guys are more than welcome to come here to Miami. We could do it here. Y'all want to wear masks because you guys are scared of COVID? Fantastic. We'll even stay six feet apart if you guys want to do it. <laughs> All right? So I don't want no fucking excuses. You guys want to go ahead and talk shit and El Lasan make these dumbass arguments of women. Lasan. <laughs> women are better drivers because they're safer. Uh, sir, we already proved that your argument is weak and does not make sense because men yeah. are more skillful drivers, which is what Tate was referring to in the first place. We'd be happy to have this discussion with you guys. We're going to talk about intersectional dynamics. We're going to talk about, you know, since you guys are so mad about, oh, you red pill guys are incels, blah, blah, blah. We'd be happy to debunk all of your thought processes on how men and women are equal and how you think we're the same and all this other bullshit that the left. These dudes treating like the highest value male. Yeah, I do kind of like it. I like it. It's cute. I like that they recognize me as the top G. Left hands to bleed. I would love to debate you guys because Hassan, I've watched you debate. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. Who the fuck would go to Miami and then waste time sitting in a stinky room with these idiots? Yeah. This is pretty insecure. I don't know why he's so hysterical. Look at his face. I like it though. Um, I mean, are they still relevant? I feel like they got their backs blown out a little too hard multiple times and kind of dropped in the cultural relevance bracket a little bit. Oh, but I'll still, if I'm running out of content, I would still, I'll still throw them a bone, you know? But no, I would not take a day off or multiple days off to fly to Miami and then debate them. Especially when, like, I would rather debate Tate. I want to. I want to debate Tate. For sure. He looks nervous like he's asking you if he can go to the movies with the friends. I mean, they just edit the video to shit if you went it if you went there in person. Oh no, I would I would stream on my own personal stream too. Like that's not I'm not giving you that fucking I'm not giving you that clout. You don't deserve that. You're not my friend. I'm not gonna like show up on your fucking stream. I'm not like one of these like girls that you hired off of a sugar daddy website to come on your stream. You know what I mean? So you can like belittle them and berate them with the hopes that like they might get a crumb of Instagram influence. You know what I mean? I'm not doing any of that shit. We can have a conversation on my stream. You know what I mean? He's going to challenge you to a debate in international waters. Lamau. Yeah. But yeah, if I have time, if I have time, I can, um, you know, I'd consider debating them. It could be good content. They already turned Ethan down for a debate. So what happened between him and Ethan? I don't even know. Text him.
You cat did a great video on the man. This video is sponsored by Surfshark. Let's get let's get into the the, the manosphere though. This is a good segue into manosphere stuff. You get me talking to a wall. It doesn't matter, folks. I told you this 